We got in so much trouble just now. We're about to go do a calisthenics competition. We're gonna see who can do the most reps, and we're gonna do a handstand push-up competition, muscle-up competition, a one-arm push-up competition, and then finally, even though it's not a calisthenics exercise, we're gonna end it off with a sled competition. We're here today with Ismael Martinez, IFBB Pro Olympian men's competitor. This dude just got off stage from the San Diego competition. Conquered sixth place, dude. This guy's like filled the fuck out to the brim right now. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Just do it. It's like Coke, but better. Oh, mm. One of the best pills. Mm. I should have eaten more carbs, bro. I'm on like 1,900 calories. Right now? This guy probably just ate like 4,000 calories after his show last night. Man's loaded up. I know. Brother can't fit through doorways. I think you're good already, bro. I don't no. think you need any more pump. No, no quiero lesión. <laughs> Should've ate more carbs. Should've injected some more trend. Said I was gonna wait till my pro debut. I'm gonna just start it now. <laughs> I'm like too scared to even try to get a pump because I don't want to use any energy I have left to like try to beat this guy. Because there's gonna be no chance. You can master still, bro. I'm oh, so small right now. Is that your stage weight? 187? So basically, if I want to do well as a pro, I need to gain like 12 pounds of lean mass. Holy shit, dude. God. TRT boys. All right, we're going to do the handstand push up now. We're going to do a handstand with our back against the wall. Ready? Go. One. Oh, shit. I'm having so much trouble staying there. I got obliterated. The first one, I win. Yeah. <laughs> that was an epic fail, bro. Have you ever done this? No. No? No. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> we should have filmed this video before he did his competition. I feel full, like, yeah. I feel quick, quick. It's kind of hard for me to tell because I'm always like, I'm always at a deficit. I would always feel like stronger after my show because I carved up and then I ate like pizzas and cookies and stuff the night before. And then the next day I'd have like the craziest month of my life. But you're also just stronger than me, so it doesn't really matter. No creo, pero si. Since he doesn't think so, he thinks you're stronger. No, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> like some drones just like hovering around. Yeah. <laughs> How many do you think do you get with up? Probably zero. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Okay. Vamonos. Now we're gonna do the muscle up competition. I wish we had a boy that was long enough, but we'll just have maybe him go first and then I'll follow up afterwards and we'll see how many reps we can do. You ready? I'm ready.
iba a hacer ninguna nunca lo había hecho y me salieron unas ahí me ganaste you win we're one for one right now he has no idea he had that with him Dude, I have no idea either. It looked like it was like 300 yeah, pounds of straight mass. Just... It's like everyone thinks bodybuilders like, you know, are like working out the whole time. But like when you're on social media, I'm spending like 10 hours in front of the computer and my phone the entire day. I like quit being an engineer just so I didn't have to do that. I'm still doing it. Is that fair? <laughs> I should have eaten a pizza last night. No sh we got some hacks, baby. I'm doing even moisturizing. I'm not saying it's just lotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start doing this now. I used to shoot with this guy that would always pack like baby oil. Yeah. Every time I busted out the camera, he would just grab the baby oil and start like going all out. I want more. One arm baby, one arm push up. The fucking tits look like balloons. Con un brazo. Let's do it. Okay. Look at Fred right now. Alright, you ready? Three, two. One, go. Let's try the right one anyway. Yeah, let's try it. I feel like my right's worse. <laughs> Ready? Hey. Oh, sorry. Ready? Go. One. Two. Yeah, I've been trying to stay on my grind, but yesterday was like a special, special day. I have like a couple of friends that are leaving town for like half a year, and I was like, I can't, I can't miss out this opportunity. I've been trying to like fall asleep by midnight every night, but last night I, I went to bed at 6.30. Same, both tired but still killing it. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick, dude. I hit the hardest leg day of my life yesterday, bro. I was with Nathan in the gym for three and a half hours. Oh, I saw, yeah, you said. Yeah, I was thinking like, I didn't hit legs for a week, really wanted to crush it, and I didn't really think about what we're doing today. I'm just making excuses, bro. <laughs> we'll do this sled push, I'm just making fucking- What the hell your legs gotta do? <laughs> oh. Oh. I just hope we will have enough shoe traction. I'm fucking nervous. Fourth up, time for the sled competition. You ready? I ain't ready. Let's go, bro. Ultimo ejercicio. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh. I saw that. My bad. I push it up like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real, bro. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just say go. Yeah. Just go. Send it. He's saying that in races, when a hiccup happens, you can't take it back. Yeah. That it's opportunity lost. Yeah. In a friendly way. He's really <laughs> No, I, I feel that. I feel so. The more of an advantage you'll have to that. <laughs> 
It makes sense. Again. It makes sense. I need all the handicaps that I can get, bro. Alrighty, quick. And three, two, one, go! We got in so much trouble just now. Yeah. That was me all the time too as a kid. I got like the pink slip at middle school like every single week. Nice. Nice. Concentrado, vamos. Yeah. Vamos, bro. Vamos. So. Yeah. Uh. 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 Ah. fucking demolished me in the handstand push-up. I barely beat you in the uh, muscle up. And then you demolished me again in the push-up. And then we tied for the right hand. I guess we tied for the sled and both got in trouble. <laughs> honestly, honestly, Candace, the owner of the gym is so sick though. She's like the sweetest heart. I, uh, I honestly feel bad because I wasn't thinking about like how this is your new baby and we literally just, we literally just pushed like freaking a 150 pound sled onto her new floor. <laughs> Pónganse mamados. It's a it's like a way of saying like get swole. Hell yeah, I like that. He was just talking about our podcast. We had a we had a really good episode. We went pretty deep on some stuff too, which I really like appreciate. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you opening up to me about that stuff too. So, um, the podcast is going to be up there soon too. I'm assuming this video will be up first because I still got to launch the podcast. Um, but I'm excited because I've already filmed six episodes. Stay tuned for the podcast, Transparent with Nile Naga. And then Ismail is, uh, what's your Instagram and your socials? Ismael Martinez de Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Young LA is my sponsors. 
these are the only ways I make money is by you guys supporting me with the codes. So like literally I wouldn't be able to do this if it weren't for you guys using my codes. But it, the only way clothes that I'm wearing is code Nile and then the huge supplements that I take also is code Nile as well. And then if you guys are feeling symptoms of low T or um, any symptoms such as like depression, feeling unmotivated, you know, lack of sex drive, or you also want medications for like um, erectile dysfunction, hair loss, and stuff like that. My bodybuilding friendly HRT clinic link is in the bio. You can get your blood work done if you feel low T, but you don't have to get your blood work done in order to get all the special medications for like men's optimizations health. Um, so check that out as well. We're banned from this gym for like 10 years now, so please give us a like, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Can we get like a like a 5,000 like goal? Would be pretty sick for this or something. I love you guys. See you guys next time. Peace.